my name is Tindebella uh, from Overseenasis. Before we start, I just think I should make a few things clear to us. So this uh, is being bankrolled by Healthcare Professionals Recruitment Limited, a company registered in the UK. Uh, what we do is to help candidates relocate from abroad into the United Kingdom to work as nurses. So Oversea Nurses is a brand on the, that company that is charged with helping, it's more like a, a, a charity body. So all we do with Oversea Nurses is free of charge. However, when we help the nurses to relocate, Healthcare Professionals Recruitment Limited gets paid on every nurse that is recruited. So that's why they can afford to give money to overseas nurses to do some charity work. We know that in the relocation process, passing IELTS is about the most difficult stage. And we know some people are ready to write IELTS, but they do not have the funds. Uh, some people cannot afford to pay for training. This is why we try to see how we can help. So today, we'll be having a reading test, just like um, Joy said. For transparency, it will be a good thing to take a picture of your book before you start. So it shows that you do not have any answers written down. Uh, and then when you finish, you take a picture of your work before we mark it. Then when we mark it, you take a picture and send it to the email she said. This is so that, because we, we're not very rich per se, we can only afford to give one person a hundred pounds. We're working it uh, an ongoing thing. So we just want to be sure that whoever we're showing this to, that this is the process we've gone through, it speaks transparency. It doesn't look like, oh, they have someone they wanted to choose before. They're just bringing all of us together for whatever. So it's just for transparency. Before you start, take a picture of your book, a uh, piece of paper you're writing on, so that we know there's no answer. So that we're sure that Joe hasn't told you the answer before we start. Not like he even has the password anyway. So at least just for transparency. So um, the questions are split into three parts. I'll play the video. The video will have the question on my screen and you can answer the question. So this was the test used to choose the winner of the hundred pounds towards the IELTS exams that we promised. The reading practice test was played as a video to the candidates. The candidates answered the question on their piece of paper. So how did you feel? Mm. Well, I it was, was okay, but at, at some point, the time limit was... Condition. I don't want that at one point. It was okay. I don't know what it is for. The time limit was confusing. And by the time you move on to the next slide, it's like five minutes. Yes. Just like the questions, the candidates had the answers played to them as a video and they did the marking themselves. For transparency, the candidates had been told to take pictures of their book and a blank sheet before they started their work and their work before they started marking as well, just to ensure transparency during the process. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I've got 19 answers. I had um, 24 emails okay. and um, telegram. Okay. So and I have any... 19 answers. 19 answers. So of all the 19 answers, it seems 27 is the highest, isn't it's, it? It's still the highest, yeah. The highest score we have today is from Amaka, if I'm correct. Elway. Amaka Elway. So uh, we're looking to make this an ongoing thing, uh, not just a one-off. Um, Amaka, you'll be getting a hundred pounds towards your um, IELTS exam. We would need to verify that you have sent the following, a blank and your answers before we started marking. Everyone here can see who the highest score is, you know, so it's not, there's no hanky-panky. Uh, so, Amaka, uh, congratulations. 
uh, hard work pays. Here, hard work pays. Um, we will be uh, trying our best okay. to support as many of you as possible. So Amaka will be the first person getting our four a uh, hundred pounds towards her IELTS exam. So I, I'm thinking maybe it might be a monthly thing. It might be a bi-monthly thing. I'll keep you posted. Our trainings are still free. When you pass the exams, we're happy to help you relocate. All we do is free of charge. Uh, my name is Tunibela. On behalf of Overseas, I say thank you so much for joining. Um, so we will be getting the hundred pounds across to Amaka. Amaka, you please send us your uh, account details to our email and we'll send you the money. But we want to be sure you're ready to write the IELTS exam. So the money cannot be used for anything else, only towards IELTS. So would you have anything to say, Amaka? Because I've already paid for the IELTS. Sorry, I didn't hear that. You said you paid. She's, she's registered yes. for the IELTS. Her exam is in a Oh, you have days. registered. So we will reimburse you the money. It's a promise. And it, it, it shows that you're serious, actually. Joy, there's something I was just thinking of just now. Okay. Since you have paid for the exam, will you want someone here who has not paid for the exam that has that gets the score nearest to you. So, so you you're the first in this in this uh, in this test. It don't, you, it's not compulsory. This is just something I'm thinking of right now. So you 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 came first. How about the second person? If the second person has not paid for their IELTS exam, how about we use that money to help that person? Because you're you're fortunate. You can afford well, you can afford it, or you've been able to get the money somehow. There's some people here who might not have a means of getting that money. And 100 pounds will go a long way to helping them because some people are brilliant. They just don't have the, it's not like they're poor, but they haven't just, they're not just lucky to have the resources. So I'm thinking if it is something you'll be happy to do, the prize is yours, fair and square. The rules are who, the highest, the person who gets the highest gets the prize, but would you want us to use that money to help someone who gets next to you but cannot afford the money for the exam? Would that be a thing you will explore? Or you just want to keep your money? I can't, I can't hear you. Please unmute yourself so I can hear you. Okay, fine. No problem. Like, okay. like are you happy for okay. us to do that? It's, it's no problem. Like, fine. No, no, no. I'm not compelling you. Everyone is our is our witness here. We're trying to build a community uh, where people can, you know, help ourselves. You know, get better. You know, because you know, I just, I'm just. Is this something you want to do? If if that's yeah. something you're happy to do, yeah. Fine. Yeah. Okay. It's a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, can you please give us a round of applause? <laughs> We will, we will need you to give a speech, acceptance speech. Um, so, Joy, who's who's the next person? Who who got next after her, please? Joy, you need to unmute yourself. It's Ibrahim. Sorry, Ibrahim is the next person. He he said his battery was uh, flat and his phone was going to die, but his score was twenty five, and we did see it before he left the class. So um, we'll you make contact right. with him. Yeah, we'll make contact with him and probably make him to have a word or two by our next class. Um, yeah. Fortunately and unfortunately, he's not been a very regular person in this class, not even on the YouTube because I was checking uh, at some point, but I think he's favored to have, yeah, he's the next person and he's called 25. But the thing is, what if he has paid for the exam as well? We will get across to him before next week and we will tell the house. So, we'll so ladies and gentlemen, from... I want to invite all of you back here or if there's a way we can contact you because I want you all to be part of the decision making. Yep. If Ibrahim has paid for his exam, then he doesn't... Ibrahim is here already. Ibrahim is here. He's back in the class. Okay, Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Um, you scored 25, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, you, you, so you, you came second. 
Um, Amaka oh. came first. But the thing is, Amaka has already registered for her exam. So, okay. And she's happy to give her place to you. No, no, no wait, happy. wait, wait. Before we tell him, before, wait, have you registered? No, I haven't. Exam? No, 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 no. Hello. And that's definite, right? Yes, I, hello. Hello, I can hear you. You have not registered. Yes, yes. When are you looking to register? Um, this week we're entering. Okay, this week we're entering. So that means you have your passport ready, your international yeah. passport. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, everyone here, what do we think about letting uh, Ibrahim get the prize in place of Amaka? Amaka has agreed. Do we all agree he gets the prize? Unmute yourself and talk. Please unmute yourself. We want to hear your, your opinion. If you, yes. if you are happy for him to have unmute. the prize, say aye. Aye, that's okay aye. by me. Okay. I'm happy for aye. him to have the prize. Okay. <laughs> On that basis, I want to say thank you to all of you who have participated. Uh, we will review this process and see how we can keep it going. Uh, we'll speak to our friends and see how they can support us. Uh, um, so, Ibrahim, uh, you have to show gratitude to Amaka for, for giving you this, this opportunity because it is Amaka's prize. Amaka is giving her prize to you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, hard work pays. Uh, it's always good to be prepared. Uh, this opportunity was there. No one knew. But because you're prepared, you're able to get it. So, uh, Ibrahim, you will send us your, 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 your bank details and we would be making this payment to you once you're ready to register for your uh, IELTS exams. It cannot be used for any other thing. It has to be used for IELTS. Um, if you're on social media, follow us. We're on Overseas Nurses, uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Follow us. Uh, we'll be bringing up uh, a few more things on how to make uh, relocation to the United Kingdom as healthcare professionals a lot more easy for you. Some people have gone through the journey They'll be sharing their journey. We're doing, a, uh, we're doing a documentary. You can watch how they have gone through it. How, uh, see, coming in is, is not as hard. Settling in can be a bit challenging too. So it, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a data bank we're, we're, we're creating where people can learn and help others. So thank you for, for being here today. My name is Tony Ben uh, from Overseas Nurses. Uh, this is powered by Healthcare Professionals Recruitment Limited. Uh, that's a company registered in the UK. And they're into helping nurses relocate from abroad to work in the UK. Thanks. Thank you very much, Mr. Tunde. Thank you for your support. And yeah. thank you. Thanks to all the friends and family members that are you know, making these sacrifices to make um, one or two persons benefit from them. My gratitude actually goes to Amaka today. Amaka, that's the sacrifice Amaka has got the heart you're talking of going. about. Yeah, it, it takes a big heart for you to give that up. I mean, if you tell us that you've not registered and we give you the money, we won't know because after all, you're going to write the exam eventually, okay? So yeah, it's a good thing to be honest. And I pray that with this that you've done, okay, you will be successful in your forthcoming exams. You need to practice. Okay, you need to, to concentrate more and uh, we hope that your processes will be made easier. I'm sure Ibrahim has something to say to Amaka. And yeah, to I'm, I'm very, very happy about this. It's, it's an honor, it's really an honor. I uh, just joined this, hoping to get it. I've actually been preparing for a while now. What's, it's mainly the finance that has been delaying my registration. I'm very, very happy. I'm massively happy. I'm, Wow. I'm just a Congrats. Congrats. I, I look, I look yeah. forward to seeing you guys in the UK. Eventually, when you people have come, we will have like, um, is it like a reunion, a gathering, get together, sort of something for all of us, and um, we'll get to see ourselves face to face. So you need to work harder. You need to pay close attention to instruction. Hello. Good afternoon. My name is Ibrahim Belu. I'm a registered nurse here in Nigeria. I'm presently working in Lagos State. 
I want to use this medium to sincerely appreciate Mr. Tunde Bella and the entire members of Overseas Nurses for their financial assistance towards my health registration. I was opportune to get £100 from them for the registration. Actually, I wasn't just picked at random. There was a contest which I took part in and I was opportuned to get the prize. I got to know about the contest on the Overseas Nurses Telegram group page, which I've been a part of for a while now. And the contest took place live on Zoom. And interestingly, I didn't come out first in the contest, but the person that came out first said she already made her registration and she willingly gave up the slots to me and I certainly got the 100 pounds from Mr. Tunde Bella and by the special grace of God my results came in today and I did well and special thanks also to Mrs. Joy Agagu, the IELTS tutor of Overseas Nurses. Uh, my sincere appreciation goes to her to Mr. Tony Bella and all members of Wasinosis as Abelia said.